World War II Propaganda Posters Title, World War II Propaganda Posters, Shaping Public Opinion in Times of Conflict Introduction, Approximately 100 Words World War II was one of the most devastating conflicts in human history, involving nations from every corner of the globe. In an era before television and the internet, propaganda played a crucial role. E. In shaping public opinion and mobilizing support for the war effort. Among the various mediums of propaganda utilized, posters stood out as powerful tools for governments and organizations to commune. E. In shaping public opinion and mobilizing support for the war effort. Among the various mediums of propaganda utilized, posters stood out as powerful tools for governments and organizations to commune. Ecate their messages to the masses. This article delves into the world of World War II propaganda posters and explores their nuanced techniques and enduring impact. 1. The Art of Persuasion Through Posters, Approximately 300 Words Propaganda posters served as a platform to disseminate messages, evoke emotions, and shape public attitudes during World War II. Artists and designers played an essential role in creating visually ST. Iking and emotionally resonant posters to reinforce desired beliefs and actions. These images captured attention and effectively communicated key ideas, utilizing symbolism, colors, and concise text. Iking and emotionally resonant posters to reinforce desired beliefs and actions. These images captured attention and effectively communicated key ideas, utilizing symbolism, colors, and concise text. Oh, get their messages across. The posters aim to mobilize public support, bolster troop morale, encourage enlistment, promote wartime efforts, and generate funds for war financing. They often portrayed heroes, patriotic symbols, and powerful slogans to invoke feelings of national pride, unity, and a common purpose among the citizens. And powerful slogans to invoke feelings of national pride, unity, and a common purpose among the citizens. 2. Themes and Messages in Propaganda Posters, Approximately 400 Words A. Promoting Patriotism and Nationalism, Many posters emphasize the importance of patriotism and national unity. These artworks prominently displayed national flags, landmarks, and iconic cultural s. Most to instill a sense of pride and loyalty in citizens. Most to instill a sense of pride and loyalty in citizens. B. Encouraging enlistment and recruitment, to build up military forces, propaganda posters sought to inspire young men to enlist in the armed forces. They portrayed soldiers as noble heroes defending their country, exuding strength, bravery, and honor. Appeals to masculinity and duty were often present to further motivate citizens to join the fight. Their country, exuding strength, bravery, and honor. Appeals to masculinity and duty were often present to further motivate citizens to join the fight. D. Demonizing the enemy, portraying the enemy as villains and emphasizing their aggressiveness aimed to fuel hatred, fear, and a desire for revenge. Posters often depicted dehumanized enemy soldiers. Engaged in acts of brutality or threatening innocent civilians. This technique aimed to maintain public support and justify the necessity of war. Engaged in acts of brutality or threatening innocent civilians. This technique aimed to maintain public support and justify the necessity of war. 3. The Impact of Propaganda Posters, Approximately 500 Words A. Mobilizing Citizen Engagement, World War II propaganda posters were effective in mobilizing the masses towards their respective national causes. Whether it was enlisting in the military, purchasing war bonds, or volunteering, citizens felt compelled to contribute to the war effort through the persuasive nature of these posters. War bonds, or volunteering, citizens felt compelled to contribute to the war effort through the persuasive nature of these posters. 
b. Fostering public awareness and information. The posters also spread information about wartime policies, rationing, safety precautions, and the consequences of espionage or careless talk. By Desem. Nating vital information, posters were instrumental in shaping public behavior and encouraging adherence to new regulations. Nating vital information, posters were instrumental in shaping public behavior and encouraging adherence to new regulations. C. Creating a sense of unity and national identity, propaganda posters portrayed a particular vision of the nation, fostering a sense of unity among citizens even in the face of adversity. These I mag. S. Reinforce the collective identity and pride associated with being part of a unified nation, motivating citizens to make sacrifices for the greater good. S. Reinforce the collective identity and pride associated with being part of a unified nation, motivating citizens to make sacrifices for the greater good. D. Endurance of propaganda imagery, despite the passage of time, the impact of World War II propaganda posters remains significant. Their artistic brilliance and powerful messages have made them endo. Ing symbols that still resonate with audiences today. They continue to be studied, reproduced, and exhibited, serving as reminders of the power of mass persuasion. Ing symbols that still resonate with audiences today. They continue to be studied, reproduced, and exhibited, serving as reminders of the power of mass persuasion. World War II propaganda posters were powerful tools for shaping public opinion and mobilizing support for the war effort. Artists and designers played a crucial role in creating visually striking and emotionally resonant posters that effectively communicated key ideas. These posters aim to promote patriotism, encourage enlistment, support war efforts on the home front, and demonize the enemy. Emotionally resonant posters that effectively communicated key ideas. These posters aim to promote patriotism, encourage enlistment, support war efforts on the home front, and demonize the enemy. The impact of these posters was significant. They mobilized citizen engagement by compelling individuals to contribute to the war effort through enlisting in the military, purchasing war bonds, or vo. Untiering. The posters also spread important information about wartime policies and safety precautions. They fostered a sense of unity and national identity by portraying a vision of a unified nation. Untiering. The posters also spread important information about wartime policies and safety precautions. They fostered a sense of unity and national identity by portraying a vision of a unified nation. Despite the adversity faced during the war Even today, the impact and endurance of World War II propaganda posters remain remarkable. Their artistic brilliance and powerful messages continue to resonate with audiences, as they are studied, re- Reduced and exhibited. These posters serve as enduring symbols of the power of mass persuasion, providing valuable insights into the role of visual communication in shaping history. Reduced and exhibited. These posters serve as enduring symbols of the power of mass persuasion, providing valuable insights into the role of visual communication in shaping history. These posters served as platforms to disseminate messages evoke emotions, and shape public attitudes. Artists and designers employed various techniques to create visually striking and emotionally re- own it posters that reinforce desired beliefs and actions. They utilize symbolism, colors, and concise text to effectively communicate key ideas. Own it posters that reinforce desired beliefs and actions. They utilize symbolism, colors, and concise text to effectively communicate key ideas. The themes and messages depicted in World War II propaganda posters were diverse. Many posters aimed to promote patriotism and nationalism by prominently displaying national flags, landmarks, and eco. It cultural symbols. This instilled a sense of pride and loyalty in citizens. Other posters sought to encourage enlistment and recruitment by portraying soldiers as noble heroes defending their count. 
It cultural symbols. This instilled a sense of pride and loyalty in citizens. Other posters sought to encourage enlistment and recruitment by portraying soldiers as noble heroes defending their count. Why, they exuded qualities of strength, bravery, and honor, appealing to masculinity and duty. These posters aim to mobilize support and encourage active participation from those not directly involved in combat. Additionally, posters played a role in demonizing the enemy. Depicting the enemy as villains and emphasizing their aggressiveness aimed to fuel hatred, fear, and a desire for revenge. By dehumanizing the enemy soldiers and showcasing acts of brutality or threats to innocent civilians, these posters aim to maintain public support and justify the necessity of war. The enemy soldiers and showcasing acts of brutality or threats to innocent civilians, these posters aim to maintain public support and justify the necessity of war. The impact of World War II propaganda posters was significant. They effectively mobilized the masses towards their respective national causes. Through the persuasive nature of these posters, citizens, World War II Espionage and Codebreaking Title, World War II Espionage and Codebreaking, Unveiling Secrets and Turning the Tide Introduction World War II was a globally catastrophic conflict that reshaped the world and tested nations' backslash abilities to harness intelligence in unconventional ways. Espionage and codebreaking played crucial Roles in Shaping the Outcome of the War Roles in Shaping the Outcome of the War Section 1, Espionage in World War II Espionage during World War II was an intricate web of undercover operations, secret agents, and intelligence gathering. Countries on all sides of the conflict recognized the importance of gathering c. Ethical information about their enemies. Espionage offered an avenue to obtain valuable knowledge about enemy strategies, troop deployments, and weapons development. Ethical information about their enemies. Espionage offered an avenue to obtain valuable knowledge about enemy strategies, troop deployments, and weapons development. 1.1 Espionage Organizations Various intelligence agencies and organizations emerged during World War II, actively engaging in espionage activities to gain the upper hand. The American Office of Strategic Services, OSS, was RESP. Principle for coordinating espionage efforts, with notable agents such as Julia Child and William Donovan serving in their ranks. The German Opfer and the Soviet NKVD were among the other prominent int. Principle for coordinating espionage efforts, with notable agents such as Julia Child and William Donovan serving in their ranks. The German Opfer and the Soviet NKVD were among the other prominent int. Legends Agencies of the Time 1.2 Spies and Double Agents An integral part of espionage was the intelligence personnel operating as spies or double agents. These individuals risked their lives in enemy territory, infiltrating enemy ranks and gathering class. Fide Information Fide Information Section 2, Code Breaking in World War II Codebreaking assumed extraordinary significance during World War II. The ability to decipher encrypted messages became critical in understanding enemy intentions, intercepting military plans, and guy. In a tactical edge. In a tactical edge. 2.1 Enigma, the German cipher machine. The Enigma machine, developed by the Germans, was a complex encryption device used extensively during World War II. It presented a formidable challenge for Allied codebreakers. However, a team of Brie. Lyant codebreakers led by Alan Turing at Bletchley Park in the UK managed to crack the Enigma code. Breaking this cipher allowed the Allies to intercept crucial German communications, leading to sign. 
Lyant codebreakers led by Alan Turing at Bletchley Park in the UK managed to crack the Enigma code. Breaking this cipher allowed the Allies to intercept crucial German communications, leading to sign. Fikin strategic advantages 2.2 Ultra, the Allied breakthrough The successful decoding of the Enigma code led to the creation of the British intelligence program, codenamed Ultra. The information gleaned through Ultra played a pivotal role in shaping Allied au pair. Chance, including the successful planning and execution of the D-Day landings. Chance, including the successful planning and execution of the D-Day landings. Section 3, Key Moments and Contributions 3.1 Operation Fortitude Operation Fortitude was a deception campaign orchestrated by the Allies to mislead the Germans about the location and timing of the D-Day invasion. Double agents, false radio transmissions, and FANT. M armies were employed to convince the Germans to concentrate their defenses in the wrong areas. This campaign ensured the success of the Allied invasion and marked a significant triumph for espionage. M armies were employed to convince the Germans to concentrate their defenses in the wrong areas. This campaign ensured the success of the Allied invasion and marked a significant triumph for espionage. In World War II 3.2 Cryptanalysis at Bletchley Park The code-breaking efforts at Bletchley Park, led by Turing and his colleagues, were instrumental in deciphering critical German communications. Section 4, Legacy and Impact The advancements made during World War II in espionage and code-breaking had lasting effects on subsequent intelligence operations. 4.1 Cold War Era The knowledge and techniques acquired through World War II espionage and code-breaking shifted the dynamics of intelligence gathering during the Cold War. Nations invested heavily in intelligence again. IEs, surveillance technologies, and cryptographic advancements, setting the stage for a new era of intelligence gathering. IEs, surveillance technologies, and cryptographic advancements, setting the stage for a new era of intelligence gathering. 4.2 Technological Evolution the development of sophisticated encryption machines during World War II laid the groundwork for the evolution of modern cryptographic techniques. The principles established during this time continue. To influence information security and encryption used in both military and civilian domains. To influence information security and encryption used in both military and civilian domains. Section 5 Counterintelligence efforts Counterintelligence played a vital role in World War II, as nations recognized the need to protect their own secrets and foil enemy espionage attempts. 5.1 Double Cross System The Double Cross System was a British counterintelligence operation that managed to turn captured German spies into double agents. These double agents fed false information to the Germans, misleading them in helping to protect Allied plans and operations. The success of the Double Cross system was a significant blow to German espionage efforts. Them in helping to protect Allied plans and operations. The success of the Double Cross system was a significant blow to German espionage efforts. 5.2 Allied Deception Operations the Allies also employed various deception operations to mislead the Axis powers. Operation Mincemeat stands out as a notable example. British intelligence agents planted false information on Odyssea. Ed Mann backslashes body, which was intentionally allowed to fall into German hands. This deception convinced the Germans that the Allied invasion of Sicily would occur elsewhere, diverting their attention. Ed Mann backslashes body which was intentionally allowed to fall into German hands. This deception convinced the Germans that the Allied invasion of Sicily would occur elsewhere, diverting their attention.
Timeline of World War II Title, Timeline of World War II, A Global Conflict Unveiled Introduction World War II, widely acknowledged as one of the most catastrophic conflicts in human history, began on September 1, 1939, and ended on September 2, 1945. This devastating war involved nations across He globe, transforming the course of history and leaving an indelible mark on generations to come. With countless battles, shifting alliances, and pivotal events, a detailed timeline is necessary too. He globe, transforming the course of history and leaving an indelible mark on generations to come. With countless battles, shifting alliances, and pivotal events, a detailed timeline is necessary too. Understand how this unprecedented conflict unfolded and ultimately concluded. 1939, The Spark Ignites 1. September 1, Germany invades Poland, marking the formal commencement of World War II. 2. September 3, the United Kingdom and France declare war on Germany, demonstrating their commitment to Poland's defense. 1940, Europe engulfed. 1. April 9, Germany invades Denmark and Norway, securing vital northern positions. 2. May 10, Germany launches lightning-fast offensives against Belgium, the Netherlands, and France. 3. June 22, the French government surrenders to Germany resulting in the establishment of the pro-Nazi Vichy regime. 1941, Expanding Horizons 1. June 22, Germany invades the Soviet Union, launching Operation Barbarossa. 2. December 7, Japan's surprise attack on the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor propels the United States into the war. 3. December 8, the United States declares war on Japan, followed by Germany and Italy declaring war on the United States. 1942, Turning Tides 1. June 4 7, the Battle of Midway decisively shifts the balance of power in the Pacific, marking a crucial victory for the Allied forces. 2. October 23, the Second Battle of El Alamein begins, leading to a decisive Allied victory in North Africa and halting Axis advances. 3. November 8, Operation Torch commences, the Allied invasion of French North Africa. 1943, the tide turns. 1. July 10, the Allied invasion of Sicily codenamed Operation Husky, commences, marking the beginning of Italy's liberation. 2. July 25-26, the Allied leaders meet in the Soviet Union at the Tehran Conference to discuss future strategies. 3. November 28, the Cairo Conference sets the framework for the post-war disposition of territories. 1944, the beginning of the end. 1. June 6, D-Day, the largest amphibious invasion in history, takes place as Allied forces land on the beaches of Normandy, marking the beginning of the liberation of Western Europe from Nazi control. Dot. Dot. 2. December 16, Germany launches a major counteroffensive known as the Battle of the Bulge, but is eventually pushed back by Allied forces. 1945, Victory and Vengeance 1. January 27, the Soviet Red Army liberates Auschwitz, revealing the horrors of the Holocaust to the world. 2. April 30, Adolf Hitler commits suicide in his bunker in Berlin, effectively ending Nazi Germany. 
3. May 7, Germany surrenders unconditionally to the Allies, marking VE Day, Victory in Europe Day. 4. August 6 and 9, the United States drops atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki respectively, leading to Japan's surrender. 5. September 2, the official surrender ceremony aboard the USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay marks the end of World War II. Title, Timeline of World War II, A Global Conflict Unveiled Introduction World War II, widely acknowledged as one of the most catastrophic conflicts in human history, began on September 1, 1939, and ended on September 2, 1945. This devastating war involved nations across He globe, transforming the course of history and leaving an indelible mark on generations to come. With countless battles, shifting alliances, and pivotal events, a detailed timeline is necessary too. He globe, transforming the course of history and leaving an indelible mark on generations to come. With countless battles, shifting alliances, and pivotal events, a detailed timeline is necessary too. Understand how this unprecedented conflict unfolded and ultimately concluded. 1939, The Spark Ignites 1. September 1, Germany invades Poland, marking the formal commencement of World War II. 2. September 3, the United Kingdom and France declare war on Germany, demonstrating their commitment to Poland's defense. 3. September 17, the Soviet Union invades Poland from the east, dividing the country with Germany as agreed in the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. 1940, Europe engulfed. 1. April 9, Germany invades Denmark and Norway, securing vital northern positions. 2. May 10, Germany launches lightning-fast offensives against Belgium, the Netherlands, and France. 3. June 22, the French government surrenders to Germany resulting in the establishment of the pro-Nazi Vichy regime. 4. July 10, the Battle of Britain begins as German air forces unleash a series of devastating attacks on British cities. 1941, Expanding Horizons 1. June 22, Germany invades the Soviet Union, launching Operation Barbarossa. 2. December 7, Japan's surprise attack on the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor propels the United States into the war. 3. December 8, the United States declares war on Japan, followed by Germany and Italy declaring war on the United States. 4. December 11, Germany and Italy declare war on the United States. 1942, Turning Tides 1. June 4 7, the Battle of Midway decisively shifts the balance of power in the Pacific, marking a crucial victory for the Allied forces. 2. October 23, the Second Battle of El Alamein begins, leading to a decisive Allied victory in North Africa and halting Axis advances. 2nd War in the Middle East, Soviet Union vs. United States Title, Cold War in the Middle East, Soviet Union vs. United States Introduction, 150 Words The Cold War between the Soviet Union and the United States was primarily fought through proxy wars and ideological struggles across different regions in the world. One such region where this rivalry had far-reaching consequences was the Middle East. 
Strategically located at the crossroads of Europe, Asia and Africa, the Middle East became a crucial battleground for the superpowers to secure the had far-reaching consequences was the Middle East. Strategically located at the crossroads of Europe, Asia and Africa, the Middle East became a crucial battleground for the superpowers to secure the our geopolitical interests. As the Soviet Union and the United States sought to expand their spheres of influence, the Middle East became a captivating arena for political maneuvering and ideological d. Origins of Cold War Rivalry in the Middle East, 250 Words The emergence of the Cold War rivalry in the Middle East can be traced back to the aftermath of World War II. As the Soviet Union and the United States emerged as the two global superpowers, their co. Conflicting ideologies and aspirations set the stage for a power struggle in the region. The Soviet Union sought to expand its communist influence, while the United States aimed to contain communism and conflicting ideologies and aspirations set the stage for a power struggle in the region. The Soviet Union sought to expand its communist influence, while the United States aimed to contain communism and promote democratic values. The Middle East, with its vast oil reserves and strategic interests, became highly coveted by both superpowers. The Truman Doctrine and the Marshall Plan introduced by the United States were instrumental in cementing the American influence in the region. The Soviet Union, on the other hand, gained ground by Sioux. Supporting nationalist and socialist movements in countries like Egypt, Syria, and Iraq. This ideological divide between the Soviet Union and the United States laid the foundation for intense geopolitic. Supporting nationalist and socialist movements in countries like Egypt, Syria, and Iraq. This ideological divide between the Soviet Union and the United States laid the foundation for intense geopolitic. L. Competition in the Middle East Proxy Wars, Battlegrounds of Superpower Rivalry, 400 Words The superpower rivalry in the Middle East frequently played out through proxy wars, with proxy forces representing the interests of the Soviet Union and the United States in regional conflicts. 1S a significant example was the Arab-Israeli conflict, where the Soviet Union supported Arab states while the United States sided with Israel. The Soviet Union provided financial aid, weapons, and military. A significant example was the Arab-Israeli conflict, where the Soviet Union supported Arab states while the United States sided with Israel. The Soviet Union provided financial aid, weapons, and military. Training to Arab nations to counterbalance American support for Israel. This contributed to the entrenchment of rival factions and prolongation of the conflict. Another prominent proxy war took place in Afghanistan. The Soviet Union's invasion of Afghanistan in 1979 to prop up a communist government faced fierce resistance from indigenous Afghan guerrilla fi. Hitters, the Mujahideen. The United States covertly supported the Mujahideen, providing them with arms and assistance through countries like Pakistan. This conflict, known as the Soviet-Afghan War, draw. Hitters, the Mujahideen. The United States covertly supported the Mujahideen, providing them with arms and assistance through countries like Pakistan. This conflict, known as the Soviet-Afghan War, draw. Ned Soviet resources and intensified the Cold War rivalry in the Middle East. Furthermore, the Soviet Union supported socialist governments and nationalist movements across the region, including Syria, Egypt, and Iraq. In Egypt, Soviet aid was pivotal in building infrastructure. Projects like the Aswan High Dam. In Syria, Soviet military advisors played a crucial role in bolstering the country's military capabilities. Similarly, Iraq relied heavily on Soviet assistance during 
Projects like the Aswan High Dam. In Syria, Soviet military advisors played a crucial role in bolstering the country's military capabilities. Similarly, Iraq relied heavily on Soviet assistance during G. The Iran-Iraq War, highlighting the Soviet Union's presence in the region. Ideological Struggles, Promoting Communism versus Democracy, 400 Words The Middle East showcased another dimension of the Cold War rivalry, the ideological clash between communism and democracy. The Soviet Union advocated for socialist and communist principles, portray. Ng itself is the champion of anti-colonialism and nationalism. The United States, on the other hand, propagated capitalism, democracy, and free market principles. Ng itself is the champion of anti-colonialism and nationalism. The United States, on the other hand, propagated capitalism, democracy, and free market principles. Egypt, under Gamal Abdel Nasser's leadership, developed close ties with the Soviet Union, implementing socialist policies and embracing non-alignment. Nasser's aspirations for Arab nationalism, couple. D. With Soviet support, became a formidable challenge for the United States' vision of the Middle East. D. With Soviet support, became a formidable challenge for the United States' vision of the Middle East. The Middle East became an important battleground during the Cold War, as the Soviet Union and the United States sought to expand their spheres of influence and secure their geopolitical interests. Th. Rivalry between the two superpowers in this region can be traced back to the aftermath of World War II, when their conflicting ideologies and aspirations set the stage for a power struggle. Rivalry between the two superpowers in this region can be traced back to the aftermath of World War II, when their conflicting ideologies and aspirations set the stage for a power struggle. The Middle East was particularly attractive to both superpowers due to its vast oil reserves and strategic location. This ideological divide laid the foundation for intense geopolitical competition in the Middle East. Proxy wars became a common feature of the superpower rivalry in the Middle East. The Arab-Israeli conflict, for example, saw the Soviet Union support Arab states, while the United States sided with I. Rael. The Soviet Union provided financial aid, weapons, and military training to Arab nations, countering American support for Israel and contributing to the protraction of the conflict. Rael. The Soviet Union provided financial aid, weapons, and military training to Arab nations, countering American support for Israel and contributing to the protraction of the conflict. The United States covertly assisted the Mujahideen, providing them with arms and assistance through countries like Pakistan. This conflict, known as the Soviet-Afghan War, drained Soviet resources and Intensified the Cold War rivalry in the Middle East. Intensified the Cold War rivalry in the Middle East. The Soviet Union also supported socialist governments and nationalist movements in the region, providing aid and military advisors to countries such as Syria, Egypt, and Iraq. Soviet aid was in Strom. Tal in Egypt's infrastructure projects such as the Aswan High Dam, and Soviet military advisors played a pivotal role in strengthening Syria's military capabilities. Similarly, Iraq relied heavily O. Oh. Tal in Egypt's infrastructure projects, such as the Aswan High Dam, and Soviet military advisors played a pivotal role in strengthening Syria's military capabilities. Similarly, Iraq relied heavily O. Oh. Soviet assistance during the Iran-Iraq War, highlighting the Soviet Union's presence in the region. Apart from the proxy wars, 
The Cold War rivalry also manifested in an ideological struggle between communism and democracy. The Soviet Union promoted socialist and communist principles, positioning I. Self as the champion of anti-colonialism and nationalism. On the other hand, the United States advocated for capitalism, democracy, and free market principles. Self as the champion of anti-colonialism and nationalism. On the other hand, the United States advocated for capitalism, democracy, and free market principles. Egypt under the leadership of Gamal Abdel Nasser, developed close ties with the Soviet Union and implemented socialist policies, challenging the United States' vision for the Middle East. The Idiolo ICAO clash between communism and democracy added another layer to the Cold War rivalry, as both superpowers sought to win the support of Middle Eastern nations. ICAO clash between communism and democracy added another layer to the Cold War rivalry, as both superpowers sought to win the support of Middle Eastern nations. The Cold War rivalry between the Soviet Union and the United States significantly impacted the Middle East. The region became a hotbed of proxy wars, where superpowers sought to advance their geopoly. ICAO interests and ideology. Through proxy forces, the Soviet Union and the United States fueled conflicts, prolonged wars, and shaped the political landscapes of countries like Afghanistan, Egypt, S. ICAL interests and ideology. Through proxy forces, the Soviet Union and the United States fueled conflicts, prolonged wars, and shaped the political landscapes of countries like Afghanistan, Egypt, S. World War II in Africa, the North African Campaign Title, World War II in Africa, the North African Campaign Introduction, 100 Words The North African Campaign was a pivotal theater of operations during World War II that fundamentally shaped the course of the war. The North African theater offered valuable strategic advantages due to its proximity to Europe and its crucial supply routes. This article delves into the key events, strategies, and outcomes of the North African campaign, highlighting the importance of this lesser K. To its proximity to Europe and its crucial supply routes. This article delves into the key events, strategies, and outcomes of the North African campaign, highlighting the importance of this lesser K. Own aspect of World War II. Historical background 200 words. The North African campaign emerged from the political and military maneuvers of the Axis and Allied powers in the early years of World War II. After Italy backslashes unsuccessful invasion of British Khan, rolled Egypt in 1940 the Axis powers decided to bolster their efforts in North Africa. Rolled Egypt in 1940, the Axis powers decided to bolster their efforts in North Africa. Key Events and Strategies, 500 Words 1. Operation Compass and British Victories one of the turning points in the North African campaign occurred with Operation Compass in December 1940. British and Commonwealth forces launched a successful counteroffensive against the Italian foe. Cess, pushing them back into Libya. This operation not only halted the Italian advance but also resulted in the capture of large numbers of Italian soldiers. Cess, pushing them back into Libya. This operation not only halted the Italian advance but also resulted in the capture of large numbers of Italian soldiers. 2. Rommel Backslash's Campaign and the German Blitzkrieg The arrival of Field Marshal Erwin Rommel, popularly known as the 
Desert Fox, backslash in February 1941 brought a new wave of German leadership to the Axis forces. Rommel was an exceptional Milli. Ari tactician and quickly launched a series of offensives against the British, using the lightning fast blitzkrieg tactics. His early successes put the Allies on the back foot and led to the prolonged. Ari tactician and quickly launched a series of offensives against the British, using the lightning fast blitzkrieg tactics. His early successes put the Allies on the back foot and led to the prolonged. Siege of Tobruk, a vital port for sustaining Allied operations. 3. El Alamein and the Tide Turning After a series of back-and-forth advances from both sides, the Second Battle of El Alamein in October to November 1942 marked a critical turning point in the North African campaign. Under the command of General Bernard Montgomery, the Allies orchestrated a meticulously planned offensive, breaking through the Axis defenses and forcing them into retreat. This significant victory initiated the westward. General Bernard Montgomery, the Allies orchestrated a meticulously planned offensive, breaking through the Axis defenses and forcing them into retreat. This significant victory initiated the westward. Push towards the eventual expulsion of Axis forces from North Africa. 4. Operation Torch and the Invasion of French North Africa While the British Eighth Army was making progress in Egypt, the Allies devised Operation Torch, a combined British-American amphibious operation aimed at liberating French North Africa. In November 1942, the successful landings in Morocco and Algeria effectively trapped the remaining Axis forces in Tunisia, further tightening the grip on Rommel backslash's troops. In 1942, the successful landings in Morocco and Algeria effectively trapped the remaining Axis forces in Tunisia, further tightening the grip on Rommel backslash's troops. Outcomes and Significance, 400 Words the North African campaign had profound implications for the overall trajectory of World War II. 1. Boosting Allied morale and attrition of Axis forces The Allied victories in North Africa brought much-needed morale and confidence to their forces, who had previously suffered significant setbacks. 2. Learning crucial lessons in combined arms warfare the North African theater provided a crucial testing ground for new weapons, tactics, and strategies. Both sides adopted combined arms approaches, integrating infantry, tanks, artillery, and aircraft. Highlighting the importance of effective coordination between various military branches. Highlighting the importance of effective coordination between various military branches. 3. Opening up Mediterranean Sea Routes By securing control over North Africa, the Allies effectively safeguarded their supply lines in the Mediterranean, particularly the vital Suez Canal. The campaign also allowed for increased resupply. ND Reinforcement Options for the Allies, Enabling Further Offensives in Europe ND Reinforcement Options for the Allies, enabling further offensives in Europe. 4. Preparing the stage for the invasion of Sicily The success of the Allied forces in the North African campaign served as a launching pad for future operations, particularly the invasion of Sicily in July 1943. The combined successes in North Africa and the subsequent Mediterranean campaign set the stage for the eventual Allied invasion of Italy. and the subsequent Mediterranean campaign set the stage for the eventual Allied invasion of Italy. 5. Guadalcanal and the Battle for the Pacific As the North African campaign raged on, another crucial theater of operations was unfolding in the Pacific. 
The Battle of Guadalcanal, which began in August 1942, marked a significant turning point I. The Pacific War. The United States, alongside their Australian allies, sought to seize control of the strategic island of Guadalcanal from the Japanese forces. The Pacific War. The United States, alongside their Australian allies, sought to seize control of the strategic island of Guadalcanal from the Japanese forces. 6. Allied Victories and the Island Hopping Strategy The success of the Allied forces in the Battle of Guadalcanal was a major morale boost and demonstrated their resilience in the face of a formidable foe. This victory also paved the way for the Eme play. Entation of the Island Hopping Strategy which involved bypassing heavily fortified Japanese strongholds and capturing key islands closer to Japan. Entation of the island hopping strategy, which involved bypassing heavily fortified Japanese strongholds and capturing key islands closer to Japan. 7. Pacific Naval Battles and Air Superiority the Pacific theater of operations was characterized by intense naval battles and the struggle for air superiority. Battles like the Coral Sea and Midway showcased the importance of naval power in the Pacific, with aircraft carriers playing a crucial role. The American victory at Midway in 1942 significantly weakened the Japanese naval forces and shifted the balance of power in favor of the Allies. Pacific, with aircraft carriers playing a crucial role. The American victory at Midway in 1942 significantly weakened the Japanese naval forces and shifted the balance of power in favor of the Allies. The Italian Campaign in World War II Title, The Italian Campaign in World War II, A Turning Point in the European Theater Introduction, 100 Words The Italian campaign during World War II was a significant military campaign that unfolded on the Italian peninsula from 1943 to 1945. Serving as a crucial theater of war, this campaign witnessed by say battles between the Allied forces and the Axis powers, primarily Germany and Italy. Say battles between the Allied forces and the Axis powers, primarily Germany and Italy. Part 1 Background and Objectives 200 Words To fully grasp the importance of the Italian campaign, it backslash is essential to understand the strategic rationale behind it. By mid 1943, the Allies had successfully secured North Africa. Their next Objective was to demoralize the Axis powers, disrupt their supply lines, and alleviate some pressure on the Eastern Front by opening another front in Europe. Italy, under the fascist rule of Benito Mu. Objective was to demoralize the Axis powers, disrupt their supply lines, and alleviate some pressure on the Eastern Front by opening another front in Europe. Italy, under the fascist rule of Benito Mu. Solini, stood as a formidable target offering a backdoor into Adolf Hitler backslash's Fortress Europe. Part 2, The Sicily Campaign, 300 Words The Italian campaign commenced with the invasion of Sicily, known as Operation Husky, in July 1943. The Allies, commanded by General Dwight D. Eisenhower, undertook a massive amphibious assault on Th. Island, marking their first major offensive on European soil. Despite initial resistance from the occupying forces, the Allies succeeded in liberating Sicily after intense fighting and the removal of Island, marking their first major offensive on European soil. Despite initial resistance from the occupying forces, the Allies succeeded in liberating Sicily after intense fighting and the removal of Mussolini from power. This victory paved the way for the mainland invasion. Part 3, The Mainland Invasion and Italian Surrender, 400 Words 
Following the success in Sicily, the Allied forces, led by General Sir Bernard Montgomery and General Mark Clark, initiated Operation Avalanche in September 1943. Landing at Salerno and Taranto, the Lees faced fierce resistance from the German army. The subsequent Battle of Monte Cassino became one of the most protracted and challenging confrontations in the Italian campaign. After months of he, Lees faced fierce resistance from the German army. The subsequent Battle of Monte Cassino became one of the most protracted and challenging confrontations in the Italian campaign. After months of he, by casualties, the Allies finally captured the heavily fortified Monte Cassino Abbey in May 1944. However, the Italian campaign witnessed a significant turning point with the fall of Rome on June 4, 1944. As the first Axis capital to be captured, this event symbolized a moral and psychological vie. Tory for the Allies it also contributed to the downfall of Mussolini backslash's fascist regime, further undermining Axis morale. Tory for the Allies. It also contributed to the downfall of Mussolini backslash's fascist regime, further undermining Axis morale. Part 4 Challenges and Stalemate 300 Words. After Rome backslash's fall, the Allied advance through the Italian countryside faced immense challenges. The rugged terrain, unfavorable weather conditions, and German rearguard actions created a stalem. Tay that would persist for months. The Battle of Anzio, where the Allies attempted a bold amphibious landing, resulted in a prolonged stalemate and heavy losses. Tay that would persist for months. The Battle of Anzio, where the Allies attempted a bold amphibious landing, resulted in a prolonged stalemate and heavy losses. Part 5, The Final Offensive and Victory, 200 Words The Italian campaign finally gathered momentum with Operation Diadem, launched on May 11, 1944. Employing massive firepower, the Allies broke through the heavily fortified Gustav Line, culminating in the capture of the strategic city of Florence. Pushing northward, the Allied forces ultimately forced the German army into full retreat. The capture of the strategic city of Florence. Pushing northward, the Allied forces ultimately forced the German army into full retreat. On April 25, 1945, the remaining Axis troops in Italy surrendered, marking the end of the Italian campaign. The contributions of the Italian resistance, known as the Partisans, comma backslash in Sebo. Qing German supply lines and gathering intelligence were crucial to achieving this Allied victory. Qing German supply lines and gathering intelligence were crucial to achieving this Allied victory. Part 6 Legacy and Significance 200 Words the impact of the Italian campaign on World War II and the subsequent post-war world cannot be overstated. Firstly, from a military standpoint, the campaign demonstrated the effectiveness of combined operations, amphibious assaults, and the use of air power in warfare. It also exposed weaknesses in German defensive strategies and showcased the resilience and determination of the Allied forces. Operations, amphibious assaults, and the use of air power in warfare. It also exposed weaknesses in German defensive strategies and showcased the resilience and determination of the Allied forces. Furthermore, the liberation of Italy had a profound impact on the Italian population. The fascist regime led by Mussolini had subjected the Italian people to years of oppression and suffering. The Al. I'd victory not only freed them from fascist rule but also paved the way for the establishment of a democratic Italy. The Italian campaign served as a catalyst for political change, leading to the EV. I'd victory not only freed them from fascist rule but also paved the way for the establishment of a democratic Italy. The Italian campaign served as a catalyst for political change, leading to the EV. Jewel Downfall of Fascism and the Rebirth of a New Italy Moreover, the Italian campaign had broader geopolitical implications. 
It forced the German forces to divert significant resources and manpower from other fronts, particularly the Eastern Front, where they were locked in a bitter struggle with the Soviet Union. By drawing German forces into Italy, the campaign helped alleviate some pressure on the Eastern Front and potentially contributed to the S. They were locked in a bitter struggle with the Soviet Union. By drawing German forces into Italy, the campaign helped alleviate some pressure on the Eastern Front and potentially contributed to the S. Viet Union Backslash's Eventual Victory In terms of the post-war world, the Italian campaign played a role in shaping the geopolitical landscape. Part 7, Commemoration and Remembrance, 300 Words the Italian campaign holds great significance and is commemorated through various means to ensure that its memory endures. Numerous monuments, memorials, and cemeteries were built to honor the fallen. Soldiers from both sides of the conflict. The most notable among them is the Sicily Rome American Cemetery and Memorial located near the town of Natuno, Italy. This beautifully maintained cemetery. Soldiers from both sides of the conflict. The most notable among them is the Sicily Rome American Cemetery and Memorial located near the town of Natuno, Italy. This beautifully maintained cemetery. As the final resting place for over 7,800 American soldiers who lost their lives during the Italian campaign. It serves as a solemn reminder of the sacrifices made by these brave individuals. In addition to physical commemorations, the Italian campaign is also remembered through annual ceremonies and events. These include memorial services held at the war cemeteries, as well as gatherings organized by veterans backslash associations and historical societies. Organized by veterans backslash associations and historical societies. The educational aspect of remembrance is also essential in keeping the memory of the Italian campaign alive. Through the study and teaching of history, future generations can learn about the significance of this pivotal campaign and the impact it had on World War II and beyond. Schools, universities, and museums play a crucial role in educating students and the general public about the Italian CA. So this pivotal campaign and the impact it had on World War II and beyond. Schools, universities, and museums play a crucial role in educating students and the general public about the Italian CA. Pain, ensuring that its narrative is never forgotten.